Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another gardening video. You watched my last video where I waged war against all the weeds that popped up in the month of July. It was a lot. Go check it out. It was completely overwhelming. Um, but I went on a trip for a week. When I came home, I spent about another week, you know, just getting everything back together. And over the course of those two weeks, the weeds completely took over the garden, the path, in front of the shed, everything. And so, finally got most of those taken out. And there are still... dozens of weeds in the garden that need to come out. There are uh, things like these foxgloves, hydrangea that need to be deadheaded. Um, I need to do some zinnia deadheading and coneflowers. I also really want to save some zinnias and coneflowers that have uh, started to dry and go to seed. So I'll be collecting things that I want to save seeds for next year. I will be pulling weeds and I will be deadheading and we're just going to spend a couple hours giving the garden some good old fashioned TLC um, and doing a little bit of maintenance. So I'm sure there are whew, lots more than I, I will ever get done today. There will still be lots to do, but we're just going to do a little maintenance and see how far we get, starting with these.
All right, y'all, so these are one of the things I'm collecting seeds from. You can see the newer fresh flowers and the fresh growth coming on, but all of these should have been cut back a long time ago. So I'm gonna come in, cut all these old flowers off. Anything that looks dead gets a trim. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to collect all of these to see what we can get and to continue to promote the fresh new growth. So for everything that we cut that's still alive, it will push new green growth so that these will start to look better and not half alive. It is hard in the heat, but zinnias are typically one of the flowers that can actually handle the heat so we can uh get some water in here get some fresh growth going they should keep blooming for us all season so try to collect all the flowers any of the seeds that fall here on the ground will just reseed themselves for next year so I had tall zinnias here last year all of these these reseeded themselves forward so these are what I had last year in this space I've left them to grow because I'm going to transplant them And it might be too hot for that now. We'll see what happens, but I'm gonna move them all across the way now that they're big enough as soon as I get a rainy day. Because uh, they definitely will not live if you transplant them in the heat. go inside and I will uh, go through this bucket and separate all those seeds so that we can uh, save seeds for next year because I really liked this variety. There's all of our flowers and here we'll have some like this that we need to let dry a little bit but if we take one petal out right there at the very bottom, that is the seed, that little arrowhead. So all these with petals will have seeds. A lot of these are, there was a seed. They will have not as much seed because they've already started to spread in the wind. But zinnias give you tons of seed and they self seed regularly. So hopefully this whole area will self seed for next year and we can plant these somewhere else. Alright, so zinnias, these are taller zinnias, are cut and come again flowers, which means the more you cut, the more they bloom. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut out all the old flowers that I want to save seeds from. Now, I'm going to go through and pick all the pretty flowers, and they will reward me with a fresh new uh, bout of pretty pink flowers in about a week. When you're picking them, you can go as far down the stem as you want, but you can see there's two sets of leaves here. So that's a good place to encourage new growth. I try to pick it above a leaf, leaf module 
when I can. I'm gonna cut that one down, I think. That one. And the size control them a little bit. Some of these are a bit more spent, but okay. I will put these in a vase and then we will get all new blooms shortly. All right, y'all, I got two full buckets of deadheading done on this side and the camera decided not to film any of it. So I went ahead and deadheaded this little pop star hydrangea. You can see he is already pushing lots of new blooms. So I just went ahead and cleaned them up, cut all those old blooms off that will look better and it will help encourage new growth. And then we did the roses. Now. These are the new knockout roses I got for my birthday. Y'all haven't seen them in bloom yet. It's a sneak peek for the July tour, but look how many buds are on them. I deadheaded them completely when I got them. They had zero blooms when we planted them. They pushed so much new blooms, new growth, and now they are just like thriving in this spot, blooms buds everywhere. I really need to already like shape them up a little bit because they're growing so well here, but you will let this round of buds bloom and then we'll have to sacrifice some buds to shape them. Didn't have to do anything with my twist and shout, although she is blooming for the first time. My mom bought me this on a whim. Thanks mom. And then we got the mums. So we went ahead and let these bloom this season. Um, early in the season, normally in the south, you want to cut your mums back until July and then let them bloom for fall. But a lot of times, if you have a long enough growing period, you can get two sets of blooms out of them. So I let them bloom. I just cut them back and they already had new buds. So I'm thinking they're going to bloom for fall too. Did a bunch on this butterfly bush, but there are I mean, there's just so many dead blooms. We could be here for years and she's obviously happy because she's still putting out new growth. So we're not going to do so much. We shock her in the heat. So there you go. I cut all the seed pods off over here of the lilies that are spent. There are still a few lilies that have yet to open. Um, and we did the zinnias. We did cone flowers, the white ones. I didn't even show you those because there's only two uh, to cut off. They have brand new blooms and we'll cut those for seeds later. So for today, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and go inside and start sorting out those seeds so that I can save them for next season. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was just a fun, relaxing little uh, maintenance day. I'm going to go take a shower and work on seeds inside. I'm sorry y'all missed all the work we did on this half of the yard, it's really hot out. Like I waited until six o'clock at night to come out because this is the coolest part of the day. It's still 85. Humidity is like 84. I'm still, this is Alabama in July and it's not going to get better till at least the end of August. So can't just avoid it. So I'm going to get rid of all the trash and take my zinnias inside to work on. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.